Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve exponential inequalities. Last time, we had an upload a video with regard to how to identify whether the given mathematical sentence is an exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. Tapos, nag-upload rin tayo ng video kung paano na mag-solve ng exponential equations. And right now, ang target natin is to learn how to solve exponential inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start solving these inequalities na meron tayo, or exponential inequalities, let's talk about the different properties or the two properties na importante na pwede natin magamit throughout this video. Now, what are the properties of exponential inequalities? First, if b is greater than 1, b it refers to the base. Then, the exponential function y is equal to b raised to x is increasing for all x. This means that b raised to x less than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. Later on, I will give, it, uh, give you the concept of this one kung paano siya once I am done with number 2. Let's move on with item number 2. Dito kasi, yung base natin dapat daw great if the base is greater than 1. Again, if the base is greater than 1. Now, for the property number 2, if b is greater than 0 but less than 1. So, look at the difference. Yung una natin, your base is greater than 1. The second, the base is greater than 0 but less than 1. Then, the exponential function y raised to b raised to x uh, y is equal to b raised to x is decreasing for all x. This means that b raised to x is greater b raised to x greater than b raised to y if and only if x is less than y. Ngayon, sir, ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang property? Para mas mabilis yung maintindihan. Again, dito sa property number 1, if your base is greater than 1. Dito, kapag daw yung base mo ay greater than 0 but less than 1, as you can see, parehas ang symbol. Less than, less than, o kaya hindi na nabago. Wala kayong babaguhin if the base is greater than 1. Wala kayong, if you flip, na inequality symbol. But, if this is the case, your base is greater than 1, but less than, greater than 0, but less than 1, what you will do is, for this one, example lang, greater than, it became less than. So, mag-flip tayo ng inequality symbol if this is the case. Now, for you to imagine it at para may apply mo itong properties na meron tayo, let's move on and solve for item number 1. For item number 1, we are given this direction, solve for the values of x. Solve for the values of x. And we are given this one. 5 raised to x is greater than 125 x plus 8. So, one thing na pwede ko sabihin sa ito, guys, is itreat nyo ito bilang isang exponential equation. Okay? Now, the base here is 5, guys. And the base here is 125. Going back with our discussion in our previous video, we need to uh, make uh, the bases as equal or the same. Since ito ay 5, at ito ay 125, ang i-adjust natin dito ay yung 125. We will express 125 to the base of 5. And here, this part, it will be copied here. So it will become 5 raised to x. Kasi okay na yung base niya. Now, as for 125, what you will do is to express it with a base of 5. And 125 is the same as 5 raised to 3. So this is greater than 5 cubed or raised to 3. But, meron pa tayo to exponent. So on tendency, we will put a parenthesis x plus 8. You multiply natin sila. Now, Ito na 
economies mo guys. Ayan na. Diba? Sabi sa inyo, i-treat nyo bilang exponential equation. Since the bases are equal, since the bases are the same, what you will do is to copy the exponents. You have x is greater than 3 times x plus 8. Because the bases are the same. Now, balikan natin. Ang tanong dito, is 5 greater than 1? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Therefore, we will use this property. We will not flip Hindi tayo magbabaliktad ng symbol. As is it ang greater than symbol natin. And we will solve for this. It will become x is greater than, we can distribute this one, it will become 3x, and then 3 times 8, that is plus 24. And now, solving for x, guys, what I will do is I will transpose this to the other side of the equation, or I will show you two different ways para siya gawin. Ay, una lang tayo. I will transpose this to the other side. Ito naman transpose ko sa kabila. Okay? So it will become negative 24 is greater than 3 minus x. Sir, bakit po nangyari yun? We transpose 24 to the other side, so it will change the sign. Next, from positive x, it will become negative since we transpose x to the other side of the inequality. Now, simplifying this, it will give us negative 24 is greater than, uh, 20, negative 24 and then greater than 2x. Solve for x, divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by 2, cancel, cancel, and this is the answer. Negative 12. Sir, paano po ba sa ito? Is it negative 12 is greater than x? No. Ang basa dito ay x is less than negative 12. Or, pwede siyang isulat dito, paano hindi naman ito? Lagi na ito x, i-flip nito, which is less than negative 12. Again, hindi ako nag-flip because of the property. Nag-flip ako para maging uh, standard yung position ng variable at ng number. Now, ito yung mismo sagot natin. These are the possible values of x, and kapag binasa nito, your x is less than negative 12. Ngayon, what if, sir, um, gawin natin siyang in interval notation. Okay? Interval notation. As for the interval notation, ano lang naman yun eh? Ang interval notation natin, nagamit tayo ng uh, infinity. So, what you will do is I will put parentheses here and negative infinity, comma, negative 12. And I will explain bakit ganito yung ating interval notation. Bakit siya negative infinity? As you can see, sabi nito, your x is less than negative 12. So, yung mga values sa x natin ay papunta sa left side of the number line. Okay? That's why negative infinity, walang katapusan. And also, lagi tayo yung naka-parenthesis when we are using the infinity. Next, negative 12. Kasi ito yung end natin. Pero, since less than negative 12 and hindi included si negative 12 sa possible solutions, I am using open parenthesis. So, ito yung mga possible na sagot natin. It's either ito or ito. Tanggap na yan. Okay? Now, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given 1 over 7 raised to 2x plus 9 is less than or equal 1 over 3, 43 raised to x minus 5. So, dito, guys, as you can see, Yung 1 over 7 natin is the base. Yan yung pinakambabang base natin. Ang ibig sabihin yan, we will adjust this value. At ang um, uh, 1 over 343 natin is the same as 1 over 7 raised to 3. Parehas lang yan. So what you will do, I will erase this, and I will express 104, 1, 1, 1 over 343 with a base of 1 over 7. So it will become 1 over 7 raised to 2x plus 9 is less than or equal to 1 over 7 raised to 3 
Tama, di ba? Sabi sa inyo, di ba? 1 over 7 raised to 3 is equal to this one. Times x minus 5. And as you can see, the bases are the same. Okay? The bases are the same. Ngayon, puntahan din natin. This is less than 1 but greater than 0. So what we will do is change this property. So gabi natin ngayon, guys. Copy 2x plus 9. And then, as for this symbol, di ba, less than or equal yan. Since meron tayong property number 2, kasi less than yung less than 1, but greater than 0 to, we will flip this symbol to become greater than or equal. And then copy this, this is 3x minus 15. Diretso ko na. Kasi 3 times x is 3x, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 or minus 15. So what we will do, I will transpose this to the other side. Ito naman sa kabila. So what will happen is that we have 9 plus 15 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 2x. Nagbago lahat ng sign nung nilipat natin. Yung negative 15 natin, it became positive. Yung 2x natin, it became negative. So what will happen is that we have 16. Ah, no. At 16. This is 24 is greater than or equal to x. Pero hindi yun yung pangafakailan natin na you can flip this, it will become x is less than or equal to 24. Ito na mismo yung sabot natin guys. Huwag kayo makonfuse kasi nag-flip ako. Ito kasi yung ginagawa ko dito yung last part, ginagawa kong standard, yung itsura or yung formation ng ating inequality. I hope na nakakuha nyo kasi malilito talaga kayo once na nag-flip ako. Pero, I am flipping, hindi dahil meron tayong property. I am flipping to make it standard. Ngayon, para magkaroon tayo ng equivalent interval notation, guys. Look, yung ating symbol ay nakapoint dito. Pag binasa mo yan, x is less than or equal to 24. So, pag tayo. So, ang infinity natin ay nandun. So, it will become negative infinity, comma, 24, pero hindi na tayo gamit ng parenthesis. Ang gagamitin natin ay bracket because 24 is included with the solutions or values of x. I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismo video natin. And don't worry, I will create two more videos. One is for solving, quadrat uh, solving exponential equations and solving exponential inequalities para mas makuha nyo sa, sa iba pang examples. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!